Now let's look at how the Foundry has created a streamlined viewing system within the Layers stack. This is a really cool feature and as you can see once we start going more non-destructive we're going to start building a lot of different layers very very quickly even on very simple assets like this. So there's a bunch of new filters and features within the layer stack that we can start filtering things and looking at things very quickly based off their attributes, based off their type or a color tag. And as you can see, I've already assigned some color tags here. If you just select a layer and click on this icon here, you can assign a different color, which is pretty handy. Uh, and I've already gone and, and done this. So to speed the process up, so we can sort by the usual thing, the name. So I'll just type in say logo. Very quickly, we see the logo, layer there, or blade. You guys kind of get the idea. Now switching into the type, there's three different types. We can uh, search by showing layers that contain non-procedural image data. So anything that's basically a paint layer, anything that's an adjustment layer, that's a standalone adjustment layer, or anything that is a procedural layer, such as this cloud we created earlier. So very handy. And then you can actually select paintable and basically all three if you want to filter uh, more extensively. So it's pretty cool through type. The attribute is even more uh, types of uh, filtering here, which is pretty handy. So we can filter by showing the group layers, unlock layers, the lock layers, visible layers, invisible layers, just the layers that have masks, and just the layers that have adjustments. So if I just select that, Boom, these are all the layers that have a mask associated with them, which is pretty cool. And then I can couple, couple it that with anything that's unlocked. So this is pretty handy as well when you have a bunch of different layers and you want to kind of find what you've kind of been working on. And finally, the color tagging. So if I select this color here, it shows everything that I've tagged as basically anything I painted for the handle. So I tag that as this kind of salmon pink. Um, and then I can deselect that and then obviously you go through the different tags uh, based off of what you created. So as you can see, it's very, very cool. <clears throat> Easy to figure out what you've done and uh, find things once your layers start getting uh, pretty crazy. And uh, just gives you another easy functionality in terms of workflow and usability when you're working in Mari 2.0.